do you find yourself feeling exhausted, run down or maybe even anxious? Well, it might be caused by the foods you're eating. So to find out how to supercharge your menu and your life, we have chef and nutrition coach Lee Holmes with us. Welcome to the show. Thank you, man. Hi. Hello. Uh, what are we making today to begin with? We're making a beautiful Mexican taco beef stew. Ooh, yes, all right, let's get started. get started. What can we do? Um, we've kind of chopped everything already, but I'm just going to pop some coconut oil in the pan just to warm that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And after that, we're going to throw in some onions, red onion, mm -hmm. really good, le kind of less sweet than brown onion and really Love good for the gut as well. Mm. Full of prebiotic fibres as well, so mm -hmm. really good, some onion. What's a prebiotic? So I that's know. something garlic, that, was. Yeah, that was garlic yep. as well. Um, a prebiotic fibre is something that feeds all the good bacteria in the gut. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so and how is that, that different to po probiotic? So that kind of is the good bacteria in your gut. So that you can get oh. through taking a probiotic or eating probiotic rich foods like kimchi and sauerkraut and that kind of thing. So we're just going to brown that off, which mm -hmm. is starting to smell really sure, nice. It smells amazing. Yeah, what can I do? Amazing. Can I do anything over here? Or is... um, what you can do, actually, we're going to do this with a guacamole. So yes. scoop out some of the avocado, throw that in oh, with some garlic hey. as well. Oh, does this bring back nightmares? Does this remember the gig? <laughs> yeah, not the nasal spray. I'm not bringing out <laughs> the nasal spray here. Um, um, gut health is very much in the news these days. How does stress affect or, or maybe what goes on in your guts. How does that affect our stress Yeah, they're levels? both very connected. I mean, stress can really strip the body of good bacteria, so it can affect the levels of good bacteria in your gut, mm -hmm. which can then make you put on weight, make you crave things. That's what happens. Yeah. That's what happens so stress, really. Really? Well, I don't know. I've put on weight. <laughs> It could be hormonal as well, but the, but your gut bacteria does actually really affect weight as well. So ah. yeah, um, so that's kind of like starting to brown off. So I might just put in some beautiful spices. So a bit of cumin in there, which is also really good for the gut. In India, they drink this as a tea. Oh really? Um, yeah, after weddings and things like mm. that, just really settle down digestion. So that's beautiful. Some coriander, which is a lovely. I love nice. the smell of that. It's beautiful smell. That. It's gorgeous. That's beautiful. I can smell it from here. the IBS as well. What, what's bad for the gut? Um, bad for the what? gut, kind of things like processed foods, a lot of chemicals, additives, um, you know, those kinds of foods are not oh, great, it's hard to digest, you know. So I'm just going to, can you smell that? It's smelling oh, really good. It smells beautiful. amazing. So that's and lots of processed food. I mean, it's just easy and quick. These yeah. days, isn't it? We're not eating as much fresh stuff as we should be. And this, like, instead of using a packet, a Mexican kind of taco packet, we're just using four different spices, some chilli as well. Mm -hmm. It's that easy. It's super simple to make. Um, we're going to put in some beef as well. And we're going to cook that off. Got quite a bit, about 700 grams. Uh -huh. And we're going to just really mix that in with the spices so you're getting all of that gorgeous flavour. Oh. We mentioned in the oven. info that... Um, Gut health can even affect our moods yeah, it and can, contribute actually. to anxiety and that type of thing. How is your gut then How kind of it? tied to your emotions? And to well, your I've had a gut full. I've had a gut full. Is exactly. that where it comes yeah. from? It does come from that. You have this nerve called the vagus nerve that runs all the way from your brain down to your gut. Yeah, right. And it sends Can't messages. Up. Yeah, so that it sends messages up and down. Mm -hmm. But every message your brain sends to your gut, your gut sends 10 back up. Oh, wow. So what's really in charge of your thoughts and feelings is the state of health of your gut, wow. which is quite interesting. That's looking good. So you really are what you eat. Um, yeah. Here, the guacamole, the um, really nice. avo's been chopped up, mashed up. Got garlic in there, tomato. Um, tomato. Throw in some of that. Yep. Mash it up. And just a little bit of lime. Easiest way is just to put in a fork. And, oh, sorry. No, 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 <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> and, and there we go. for this segment, I think. We do. And then right. once you've sort of browned off your meat, which is looking quite nice at the mm -hmm. moment, I'm going to throw in just a tablespoon of tomato paste and also a can of tomatoes, super easy, throw it in. And also some bone broth, very good for the gut, really good for healing and sealing the lining of the gut. Bone broth? Mm. Bone broth is, yeah, very, very good ingredient. Would you make your own or do you... I, mean, I do sometimes a in a slow here. cooker, which is easy, but yep. obviously um, you can also just buy it as well, which is super easy yep. if you're in a hurry. Um, and That's then, like a nice stock. It's, it'll yeah. come up very rich, beautiful. What yeah, about salt beautiful. and pepper? Do we you can season it the, if you want to. Yeah, is that not good for the gut? Or? No, it's fine. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's actually really good. So basically what you do once you've done that, pop the lid on in the oven, 160, mm -hmm. for about an hour and a half. 
and you're oh, done. Wow. And you serve and that, that with beautiful. And that meat would fall apart, oh. wouldn't it? Yeah. Would you put it on a taco shell, on a on a soft taco, or anything like that, yeah. or is that processed and you want to steer clear I mean, of that? Well, you could if you wanted to. If you don't have problems with corn and you're fine with it, that's fine. But you can also have it with a bit of brown rice or zucchini noodles if okay. you want to. Yeah. Your um, kind of journey. Uh, yes. we, we, we've crossed paths in we the have. past, haven't we? I was yes. very heavily pregnant shooting Shark Tank with we you. We did, with my gut powders. That's <gasps> right. And who ended up investing in your business? Janine. Janine, yeah. of course she did, who yeah, is obviously did. the um, the CEO and founder of yeah. um, Boost Juice. How did that change your life? I mean, it was such a great experience um, with Shark Tank. I absolutely loved it. The people were so nice as well. Yeah. It was interesting, though, because I thought it was going to be really quick, but we were about four hours in the tank. Like, yeah. it's a long time, isn't it, to yeah. be in there? And they were firing questions at me, but I loved the experience. It was really good for me, so it was a great experience. And here you are. Mm -hmm. We also have um, some taco beef that's ready to go, which we, we are do. going to taste very soon. Um, but look, to get your hands on a copy of Lee's cookbook, all you need to do is head to superchargedfood.com. In a moment, we are going to get a taste of this incredible meal, but we have to take a break. Studio 10, we'll be back soon. Okay, we have the wonderful Lee Holmes cooking a supercharged stew for us, a beef stew with guacamole. Mm, Let's have a yum. look at that. Yeah. Now, you would serve this with brown rice? Brown rice, um, zucchini noodles, cauliflower rice, oh. any kind of rice you like. Okay, and it's yep. got some great prebiotics and Fibers. probiotics. Yep. Antibiotics? <laughs> no. No, not antibiotics. But this is... Uh, do you guys want a taste? I, I would I love some, a taste. I need some guac as well on top. Oh, how good's that? Yeah. Yum. And a bit of camel's milk on top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a spoon, no, of course. Mexican, Mexican tofu. Uh, after you, Denise. Mmm. I'll go in. Oh, that's beautiful. Mmm. Superb. No? You feeling my better? My mood feels so much better. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, not... my gut is reacting nicely. <laughs> yes. Very good. Mm. It smells wow. amazing. It's and beautiful. Uh, you have been doing such a great oh. job with your business. You, uh, you can buy, of course, uh, Lee's book at any good bookstore and supercharge your gut and your life. Fantastic. It's great stuff. And look out for the sequel as well called It Takes Stew.